Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. Welcome to October the 9th, 2020. Our sixth destiny today is titled Lifestyle of Greed. The Bible says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. Thought for the day, when money is allowed to control a man's life, it can destroy his destiny. The lifestyle of greed has been confirmed to be a deadly enemy of destiny. The lifestyle of greed can manifest as the love of money or the spirit of covetousness. Now, take note of the following key thoughts on money. First of all, evil is rooted in the love of money. Evil is rooted in the love of money. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. And because evil is rooted in the love of money, the love of money is a destroyer of destiny. When money is allowed to control a man's life, it can destroy his destiny. Secondly, money is a wonderful servant, but it's a terrible taskmaster. Money always answers to all things, Ecclesiastes 10, 19. Money is a wonderful servant, but it's a terrible taskmaster. For example, if you send money to buy a car or build a house for you, it will go and it will do it. Money answers all things, but it's a terrible taskmaster. The love of money is a killer of the love of God. Money itself is neutral, but the love of it is and manifested in greed or covetousness, it kills the love of God in the hearts of people. You cannot serve God and mammon at the same time. Matthew 6, 24. You can worship God with money, but you cannot worship God and money at the same time. And so our counsel to you today is make up your mind not to be used by money, but to use money to serve God. Remember this, that when money is allowed to control a man's life, it can destroy his destiny. That shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus. What's our assignment today? Number one, refuse to be controlled by greed and by the love of money. Number two, worship God with money, but don't worship God and money. Number three, refuse to be mastered by money. Instead, master money for your maker. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, thank you, Lord, for your word to me today. Deliver me from the grip of greed and covetousness. I receive the grace to master money and use it for your purpose on the earth. Oh, Lord, in Jesus name. Praise God. Congratulations. I'm delighted. And I believe that as we pray this prayer today, the Lord will set you free from every love and covetousness. And money will not control you. Money will not send you on errands. Money will not make you steal or kill or uh, prostitute so as to have it. Money will be subject to you and you will not be subject to money in Jesus' name. I'd like to pray for somebody right now. Money has controlled you for too long. And you want to say, I am done with this. I want to be born again. I want Jesus to be the Lord of my life. I'd like to pray for you. Pray this after me. I mean it from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O God. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And wow, it's somebody's birthday. Congratulations. Happy birthday to you today. As your day, so shall your strength be. I declare increase on every side. Multiplied blessings. Harvest beyond measure in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Happy birthday. God bless you in Jesus' name.
is a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place to receive God's own principles. It is a place of His grow power. It's too.